Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about angular momentum. The definition of angular momentum comes from a particle when a particle is moving in angular velocity or angular motion or circular motion about their axis of rotation then it is known as angular momentum or uh, first of all we need to consider about the uh, radius of the circle or the radius at which the particle is moving with in, in angular motion or it is changing in their angular velocity or position. In, in, in order to explain this we need to understand that the uh, angular momentum is known as cross product of position vector because it is changing its position in angular velocity multiply by linear momentum. This P is known as linear momentum and R is known as position vector. So uh, these two are vector quantities so angular momentum will also be a vector quantity. In addition if we open the linear momentum the value of linear momentum is M multiplied by V. The relationship of linear momentum is MV M multiplied by V and R is same so if we multiply this or if we want to calculate the maximum of uh, angular momentum so it will be L is equal to M V R the meaning of maximum means the angle is 90 degree theta is equal to 90 degree and sine 90 will be 1 because if we open this it will be R P and sine of theta so if we put the value of theta into, uh, into, in this term or expression it will be RP or if we open this it will be M, MV or MVR the final term will be MVR in addition we will consider that body is moving in angular motion so its velocity or uh, this uh, radius or angular position will be in the form of angular velocity so V is equal to R omega so this velocity and this angular position are interrelatable with each other so we will put the value of v is equal to r omega in this expression so l is equal to m r omega into r so if we open this term or simplify this so this final term will be l is equal to m r square into omega so uh, the final term will be this mr square is the moment of inertia because body is moving in angular motion so this the moment of inertia of the body will be i so l is equal to i into omega it means that body is moving in angular motion having inertia moment of inertia with angular velocity is known as uh, angular momentum or cross product of position vector and linear momentum is known as angular momentum in addition we need to understand their units and dimension from this formula so we need to understand that what is the SI units and dimension of angular momentum SI units of angular momentum is MVR MVR mass has a unit of kilogram Velocity has a unit of meter per second and R is a unit of meter. So it, if we combine this, it will become kilogram meter square per second. This is a SI unit. Or if we open this, we can find the value in the form of joule or newtons. So it will be joule second. We can write that joule second is a unit of angular momentum and kilogram meter square per second is a unit of angular momentum. Moreover, we can find out the dimension of angular momentum that will be generated from this term. The angular momentum has a dimension. The dimension of kilogram is come from mass, capital M. Dimension of meter come from length, L square, and dimension of second come from time t inverse so these are the dimension of angular momentum up till now we have finished about the definition formula and SI units 
now we will see about their types of angular momentum basically there are two types of angular momentum which is known as spin angular momentum and orbital angular momentum this is denoted as L subscript of S and this L or angular momentum subscript of O this is for orbital this is spin first of all we need to define what is spin angular momentum and what is orbital angular momentum because these terms can be can confuse the students in the entry test exam because they don't know what is uh, spin angular momentum and what is orbital angular momentum because in the books uh, no one has explained about this spin angular momentum is the angular momentum when a body is spinning their uh, uh, around or across their own axis for example this marker is spinning across their axis it is spinning but in the orbital motion we can say that if that that cap the marker is moving so it is moving in the circular path or orbit it is moving in the orbit like a, like clock these needles of the clock show that this, these are moving in the angular motion or orbital motion but the spin motion is the body is spinning around their axis this is spinning motion so these are the difference between uh, spin angular momentum and orbital angular momentum and their formula will be same the formula of spin angular momentum will be m v r the only difference is that the band body is moving in the spin angular momentum its velocity will be spin v s r but when body is moving in angular momentum or uh, orbital angular momentum so l naught or l o becomes m v naught or v o into r it means body is moving in angular path or circular path or orbital path this is the basic difference between spin angular momentum and orbital angular momentum up till now we have finished about the angular momentum the, its types its units and dimension and its definition with respect to graphical representation uh, we will see you in the next video or if you like my video you can subscribe my channel for more videos i have uploaded all the videos related to you and you can prepare your entry test and exam. See you. Bye bye.